Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Solomon and the topic is wisdom is sight. Now we're going to be reading in 1st Kings chapter 3 so you may want to pull out your Bible and start in verse 5. The Bible says that night the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and God said what do you want? Ask and I will give it to you. Now I thought about this question a lot <laughs> because you know how, how many of us have not you know sat down and thought well, what if I found a genie you know in a lamp or something and they were to ask me for three wishes like what would I wish for like I've thought of that a hundred times right and of course you can't wish for more wishes and you know all of the other things that the genies tell you you can't do according to to that mythology but you know I'd probably wish for my family to be taken care of secure financially and all of those things that we think of that are material goods or maybe you do want power and wealth and to be on top of everything and the king of the world kind of thing maybe that's your desire but here we find a very rare situation where God appears to Solomon in this dream and he and he offers him to give him whatever he asks. Now, we don't see God doing that very often. He certainly hasn't appeared to me in a dream. But what what would you ask for? I mean, seriously, like thinking if you're being honest. I mean, because all of us know the story of Solomon that he asks for wisdom. But what would you actually request if you were being honest with yourself? Now, some of you are going to be like, well, I'll still ask for wisdom. And good for you. I'm proud of you for doing that. But listen to what happens in this interaction with Solomon and God in this dream. Solomon replied, you showed great faithful love to your servant, my father, David. David had just passed away because he was honest and true and faithful to you. And you have continued to show this great and faithful love to him today by giving him a son to sit on his throne. Now, O Lord, my God, you have made me king instead of my father, David. But I am like a little child who doesn't know his way around. And here I am in the midst of your own chosen people, a nation so great and numerous, they cannot be counted. Give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the differences between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to govern this great people of yours? Now, this is interesting because Solomon is asking for sight to be able to discern between right and wrong, to see the right answer. That's a fascinating thing because, you know, that's not very easy to do sometimes. The discernment is not something that just comes natural because there are a lot of people that pretend to be one thing and are actually another. In fact, Jesus said that we'd be living in times where there would be wolves in sheep's clothing, which means that there would be people that are cleverly disguised as someone that is one of our own or as somebody that would not do us any harm, but is actually a predator looking to harm us. And these are things that are troublesome. Well, how do you discern between what is good and what is bad? A lot of things pretend to be good or seem good, but they are not good. And as, and as parents, as fathers, or as men, husbands who want to leave a legacy, we need to know, we need to be able to discern between what is good and what is bad. Because we're making decisions for our families and we're having these conversations, we're, 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 we're making plans. All of these things require sight. We need to be able to see into the future. We need to be able to see what is the right option for us and, and for our kids and for our families. So listen to the response that God gives him. Very fascinating. It says, the Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked for wisdom. So God replied, because you have asked for wisdom in governing my people with justice and have not asked for a long life or wealth or the death of your enemies, I will give you what you ask for. I will give you a wise and understanding heart such as no one else has ever had or ever will have. And I will also give you what you did not ask for, riches and fame. No other king in all the world will be compared to you 
for the rest of your life. Now, this is huge, right? God doesn't just give him what he asked for, which was wisdom. God also gives him what he didn't ask for, which is the riches and the fame and all the power. And Solomon goes down in history as a king who had all of those things. And in fact, builds this beautiful, glorious temple, very, very expensive temple, right? It was all gold everywhere for the glory of God. It would shine for the mountains to see. People would come from all over to see the greatness of God and to learn of the wisdom of Solomon. We need to be people. We need to be men who seek wisdom and who seek the wisdom of God over anything else. Because we need to be people who discern what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. If God has placed us in a place of authority, we need to know what's good and bad so that we can make good decisions for our companies or for the places that we work. If God has blessed us with children, we need to have discernment to know what is the best course to raise them, especially in the times that we are living, where things are so complicated and so confusing at times. We need to know to be able to cut right through it and see what is right and what is wrong. If God has blessed us with a wife, then we need to be able to discern what is good for our marriage and the decisions that we need to make concerning our relationship and our future. So this is my prayer for you today, that you would ask God not for the riches of the world, but the wisdom that he can offer so that he would bless you so that you could see. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you were blessed by the material. We also want to remind you that there are several great ways to make sure you're staying up to date on our content as part of our 360 Legacy Plan. First, subscribe to this channel by clicking subscribe below. You can also download our incredible new app in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search Legacy Minded Men. And finally, visit our website at LegacyMindedMen.org for more information on what we believe, upcoming events, and how to join a group. Thanks again for watching.